Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Hold on, what's wrong with my camera? Where is my camera? <clears throat> Hold on, please. Hmm. Oh, there's beautiful me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, did you go to the Antrax concert, Gio? Yes. I got there a little late mm. because I was working, but um, is it true that they were very surprised that a lot of people knew their music here? Uh, yeah. Uh, the thing is that, that uh, it was two bands before. One band from here, it was Araña. They're good. And then uh, a band Steve from... Harris, Steve Harris' son or daughter, right? See, daughter, uh-huh. I don't remember the daughter or son, but, but yeah, they, they got a, a very... But what about Antrax? Were they good? Music. Yeah, man. It was... I can say, man... I Maybe they were better it. than Maiden. <laughs> um, just a little. They, they're, they are different, but... But man, I enjoy, really enjoy the, the Anthrax concert. I heard that people were telling me that their faces, they were very surprised because every, like people knew their songs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everybody sang. I like Anthrax. You know, it's funny that they, they are big U2 fans. Yeah. They make a lot of U2 covers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So how are you, class? Uh, man, we are getting fewer and fewer. Yeah, it's raining also. Could yeah. it be the rain? Maybe. You know, it's funny. Um, I can't take this out. Hold on. I don't get rid of this. Oh, there you go. Okay. Um, Jordana sent me a message today. And she was saying, um, teacher, I'm going to log in at 8.30 today because I have something to do. And I said, okay, no problem. Thank you. And then I put, it's funny because when I was reading it, I was imagining her saying it with her voice. <laughs> like, Okay, we'll be logging in at 8.30. Like an April voice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice. You, you know, you, Gio, you should use her for like a commercial, for a radio commercial. Yeah, maybe we're going to do a casting. <laughs> yeah, but don't do that. Hola, Juan. Te cuento. Me voy a ir en la caravana. No, primo, no hagas eso. Es muy es peligroso. Muy peligroso. <laughs> no, no lo es. <laughs> ¿Está bien así? Perfect. Démoslo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Did you see the news today? That Violet, I, I can't believe this. this. I never thought. They are in jail now. Ah, yeah. I saw the, the pics. Wow. I near, 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 near my home. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, you live there in Ilopango, yes, right? Yes, in Ilopango, in the woman jail. Wow. Okay, here's a question for you. Do you think it's loyalty or hypocrisy what FMLN is doing? That they are protesting? Man, I, I thought that's hypocrisy, man, because they, in the beginning, they said 
what they do. So I don't know, man. It's like you say, I don't going to do that, and you do it, and then you yeah. you you're protecting the you no, do the same than the other, and then yeah. No, but what I mean is like, for example, look at poor Mason. Mm. No arena, you know, went up, stood up for him. Poner la cara in English is a phrase over. Se llama stand up for. You know, stand up for, stand up for me, stand up for her. And I, I noticed that in arena, nobody stood up for Mason. Maybe they talked a little or they tweeted. But like, for example, like right now, FMLN, you see Oscar Ortiz, you see Lorena Peña, you see. <clears throat> but this is my question. Is that loyalty or hypocrisy? Because if Violeta Menhaver is guilty, if Sanchez Seren is guilty, dude, Oscar Ortiz has to be guilty too. So maybe I think it's hypocrisy because they're saying, hey, viste Violeta, yo te fui a apoyar. No me voy a poner el something you know maybe can be yeah so today i was analyzing that i think that's hypocrisy because they are all in the same boat and i don't think oscar ortiz didn't take any extra money either so maybe they will make violeta and them speak maybe um, but it's interesting it's gonna be cool hi rosa how are you Mute. Yeah, not not anymore. Okay, cool. <laughs> how how are you today? Fine, and you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. How is life treating you? Very good. Very nice. Just working very hard. Um, I believe you told me that you work in the in the university, right? In a hotel. In a hotel. Yeah. In which hotel do you work at? Is uh, Windsor Plaza. It's in the in Colonia Escalon. The Windsor, Windsor. Is that the one by um? Because they change names all the time. Windsor Plaza. Which one's that one? Seven, Seventh Ninth Avenue. Yeah, it's the one by World Trade Center. No. Yeah, it's near. Okay, man, that hotel has changed so many names. It, but I can know if we're in Hilton or Sheraton. No, no, no. I, I can sure no. No, what it's was it before? What was it before? The same name. Windsor. Oh, okay. How long have you worked there? Since the beginning, almost fifteen years. Oh. But I'm talking about in the '80s. What was it in the '80s? It was Windsor too. Yes, it was Windsor too. Oh, okay. What was the name of the born since the born? Since the, the hotel yeah, born? Since it, since it was born, okay. The Windsor Plaza, right? Yeah. Oh, and what do you do there, if I may ask? <laughs> Everything mopping, cleaning, <laughs> managing, oh. buying, <laughs> administration. <laughs> You do everything. Everything. Cool. Um, have you ever met anybody famous there? Not really. Not really. Just but, uh, some famous people stay there, correct? No, not really. Um, some some are organization or engines. Uh, people who NGOs. Do, NGOs. People who direct the NGOs, uh, more some ah the mm -hmm. the first lady the the I what is the name is uh, Funes the first lady from is, which uh, one because he had a couple <laughs> <laughs> the first lady <laughs> no, no the orders no the orders is Banda Tignato oh, was okay. there in a con in a um, event okay this is the one by world trade center correct yes it's almost four blocks before the world trade centers okay that's where i'm confused but the one in front of the world trade center what what is the name of that one ah oh, come on that's the crown crown plaza there you <laughs> go no, 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 so, no, oh, yeah, i was please, confused 
we are very cheap, very, <laughs> very, I mean, very little. No, 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 no. Yeah, because I was, I was confused. Okay. <laughs> you know, what's funny. The Crown Plaza, the day I got married, that day was the, the telethon. <clears throat> Not telethon, right? So I didn't know that. And all the artists, because nobody knows the telethon now. And all the artists were staying there. But I saw a lot of people outside, but I saw this group I like. Um, I really like that group. Jenny and the Mexicats, they have cool music. But the, the funny part was that when I was waiting, when I was waiting in the um, elevator, it opens and then Maria Guardia comes out. Thank and I was, I'll be honest with you. I will be honest with you. She is pretty. She is beautiful. Yes. But, well, I mean, she's 60 or something. So my respect for now. her. Bingo. But, um, Really, I'll be honest with you, I've seen more beautiful women here in El Salvador than, I mean, when you see her in person, she is beautiful, but she looks very normal, but she's still beautiful, right? But she looks better on TV. But the thing <laughs> is that when she was coming out, I said, hi, are you Maria Guardia? She was very nice. She's all oh, mucho gusto. And um, I thought, can I take a picture with you? Sure. Yeah, it's okay. And le dije, and, mm. you know, I'm, I'm getting married tomorrow. Oh, no, tonight, I think it was that night. The thing is that my family was staying at that hotel. That's why I I went to visit my mom and uh, my uncles came. So everybody was staying in that hotel. That's why I went. And I told her, I'm getting married tonight. And she says, oh, congratulations. Unless you don't want me to get married. <laughs> you know, she just started laughing like, oh, man, you're so sweet. She says, no, but please get married. Okay, thank you. <laughs> And then I saw that um, I saw that guy from um, Rebelde, FBD, but the gay one. There's remember there's like girls who likes Rebelde, who likes Rebelde, FBD. I knew, but no. There's one that is very famous. He's the gay one. I saw him oh. with his. Yeah, I saw him with his boyfriend in in the elevator holding hands. Oh. That was a... was an scandal in that No, it wasn't a years. scandal, but um yeah, no. And uh, yeah. No, but it was cool. I mean, if, you know, I saw many famous people that day like but then I was old because uh, le pregunté a, a, an employee, ¿Quién más está aquí? Mira, ellos son Playa Limbo. Who the hell is Playa Limbo? I don't know who they are. <laughs> so they were telling me a whole bunch, a lot, a lot, a lot of artists, and the only one I knew was Maribel, Maribel Guardia. So now I know I am old. You assume that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So because all, all the groups that were there, I. <laughs> I didn't know who they were. <laughs> but in that hotel, you know who I, I spoke with one time? With the singer from La Ley. Beto Cuevas, I think is his name. They were very cool. They came to a concert, but in that time when they were big, you know, like in 98, 99, 2000. And I had a friend and my friend, she was very, very beautiful. Like when you see her, everybody was, wow. The only thing that she was a lesbian, but nobody knew. So um, we used to work together. So we had the same schedule. So we had three hours of lunch. And she says, David, um, go with me, please. Let's go to the hotel. Why? La Ley is there. No, 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 let's try. Let's just go. You know, let's just, I'm okay. Let's go. And we went and it was very nice because there was no security or nothing. And before we asked, they were in the swimming pool. They were like, and my friend went, oh, my God, oh, my God, hi. And he was a very nice person, the singer. He called her mother. He called like like three different people. Hola, soy Beto Cuevas. And I was like, hi, hi. <laughs> and, but... I think he was nice to her because she really was extremely beautiful. So uh, my friend, she was bad because she used her beauty 
to get, you know, to go through. Yeah, so and I remember that everybody looked at me como, ay, que suerte de ese chavo, más no sabían. <laughs> yeah, but, suerte, los que no se bañan. Yes. <laughs> but in my mind, what she what is a lesbian. She's a lesbian. Hey, did it rain in your house today? Yes, uh, it, was rain, it was raining. It's yeah. some, some drops in here in Ilopango, it's some drops. For me, it made the day hotter, the night. Yes, it's hot. It's hotter, yes. It's hot. All right, so remember yesterday we're doing complex indirect questions? What are complex are questions? Like when you're when afraid of the, of the reaction or the answer, maybe, you know. Either you're afraid or maybe you don't know the reaction. For example, um, Ricardo, give me a direct question. Um, uh, I, I am a student, uh, no, uh, so direct question. Uh, I, I go to, to the beach. Question. What is the question? Uh, question. Uh, yes. Uh, it's, uh, do, 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 you, do you go to the beach? No, the direct question is, are you going to go to the beach? Oh, okay, yeah, do you go to the beach? Go, that's true, that's beach. a direct question. Yes. Hey, do you go to the beach? Okay, good, that's a direct question. Um, Gary, can you give me a complex question? Uh, I, I wonder if you, if you go to the beach. Why? <laughs> Why do you wonder that? So imagine, I mean, those are the possible answers. Como, yeah, I go to the beach. You are going, you are going to the beach, Why? Ricardo? Yes, yes or not? No, he's asking yes. a complex question. So I am, but in this case, if you want to know, you actually say, um, I'm wondering. I'm wondering if you like to go to the beach. And I can say, yes. Wondering. Why? No, I just, you know, I'm just wondering, you know, maybe you want, you want. You know, you want to go Saturday. I don't know. <laughs> Those are complex questions, right? Yes. Or, or I want to know uh, if you go to the beach. Yeah. In the possibility. Mm -hmm. Or I but want to know what love is. I know you can show but, me. But Ricardo, but if is they be invited you, no? <laughs> no. Paying, in the way I'm Ricardo's asking the, me, in the way Ricardo's I'm asking all, me, I'm paying all, all, all the bills that to in the beach. <laughs> no, in the way Ricardo's asking me, you know, by him asking me that, it's like, oh, oh why is he asking me that? It's because maybe he's going <laughs> to invite me. Yeah. Hey, Issa, I want to know what love is. I want you to show me. Remember that song? I want to know what love is. Mm. Foreigner. All right, so let's see, let's see, let's see the lady. We did the luggage part yesterday, remember the 2.8? I want to see if we can start three today. Okay, we're going to talk about negative feelings. Do you see my screen? Yes. yes. So lesson, lesson yes. 2.9, it says, um, this lesson's participants will learn vocabulary to talk about negative feelings. For example, knowledge check, it says, rewrite these questions using words in parentheses. Remember to use capital letters and all periods. This is what we're going to do, okay? Before I write anything down, let's see if we all have, if we all are in sync with the same answers. And then I will say, show the answer. Okay, follow the example. How can I get tickets to a sold out concert? Oh yeah, we did this yesterday, remember? Yeah. I want to find out how we can get tickets to the sold out concert. Yeah, we did this yesterday, I remember. Sorry about that. Yeah, I did it yesterday. Yeah. No, yeah, it, it should have marked me because yesterday. it was it wasn't in green and it should have been in green here. Okay, negative feelings. Listen to this. 
Share sounds again. Hello, pay attention to the following vocabulary. It will help you express negative feelings. Annoyed, baffled, confused, demoralized, depressed, discouraged, enraged, frustrated, humiliated, infuriated, insulted, irritated, mystified, saddened, stunned. Complete the following sentences with your own information. Number one, I always get discouraged when. Number two, I sometimes feel depressed when. Okay, first of all, questions. Can you back, please? Let's see the vocabulary. About negative feelings, right? Number one, I always... Complete the following sentences with your own information. Complete okay. the following sentences with your own... <laughs> Number one, I always... Okay. Okay, questions right now. Well, that's a misty, mystified mean. Mystify, mystify, in excess. Mm. What is, does anyone know what mystify is? I think it's similar to baffle. What is baffle to begin with? Mm -hmm. What right. is baffle? Example? Something happened that you, you don't expect to happen in some way. Okay, yes. I'm um, actually mystified and baffled is the same thing, which is... Um, <clears throat> Mystify comes from mystery, yeah. Like uh, you know, you know when, when you watch a magician, yes. and he really sh shocks you. Like, how did he do that, man? You're baffled. You're mystified. Like, what the hell? How, how, how did that happen? Yeah, you should see me. I know some very good magic tricks with cards. I can leave you mystified. Watch. Do you see my thumb? See my mm -hmm. thumb? Look. <laughs> ah. <laughs> it's funny when they do that to kids, they're they're baffled. They're like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's funny because I tell them, do you like a No, it's no, no, no. Easy. You know, see? Yes. Maybe, 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 but in Spanish, is uh, totally baffled, is uh, totally disconcerted, disconcerted, no? Okay. It's baffled because I'm like, wow. When you see something you can't explain, you're mystified. Okay, listen. What is annoyed? Annoyed in orange. I know you know. Have you seen? Have you seen? Yes. Yes, that's really annoying. <laughs> Look, anno annoying is like mosquitoes, mochas, flies. <laughs> it was really annoying. Some neighbors, you know, when they put that loud music, it's really annoying. Or those people that that start preaching in the street, the Bible. And yeah. they get epileptic attacks, you know, like that, that's really annoying. <laughs> so that's you understand what annoying is, right? Yeah. Yeah. If you want to make it into an adjective, you can say, I feel annoyed or I get annoyed when. Yes. Let me give an example. I get annoyed when. 
when I meet somebody and they have nothing to talk about? I don't know, maybe when the call center or, or the bank is is calling you every day, it's, it's oh. annoying. It's annoying yes, that, that, that you get annoyed. Uh, you have a be calling in, in, in one hour, another one hour, what happened? This is annoying to... Uh, that is annoying. That, that's harassment. <laughs> that's yeah. harassment, yeah. <laughs> yes, it's true. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that is annoying. So I get annoyed. Complete the following sentences with. I get annoyed when those stupid bank people keep on calling me. Yeah. Okay, I get annoyed. And oh, and Complete this is the like following me. sentences with your own number one. My um, number one. My wife, she's addicted Complete to. Complete the following uh, sentences with your own information. Number yeah, man, stop, lady. Complete oh, yeah. the hey, all right. Hey, okay, stop. Okay, this <laughs> thing's going crazy. Look, I'm not touching anything. Okay, this is annoying. Look, that's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, stop. Hello, pay attention to the following Sorry. vocabulary. Very good. Okay. My wife, she's addicted to that uh, gardenscape, whatever that game is in, in uh -huh. Android. But really, man, it, like when we're watching TV or something, I look at it or like, you know, hey, let's watch a movie, you know. And um, I have no problem because I don't need to read the uh, the subtitles. She does. So she's always asking me, ¿Qué dijo? ¿Qué dijo? Why don't you pay attention? Stop playing that, you know. Sometimes the movie is excellent and at the end, no me gustó. How can you not like it? You you didn't watch it, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so I I do get annoyed when when people are on the phone, or when you're talking to somebody and they they're not listening to you, they're not paying attention to you. When do you get annoyed? Um, when do you get annoyed, Yanira? Annoyed, like frustrated, I think. Uh, when no, wait, wait, when no, someone... oh, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, there's a difference between frustrated, it's like, oh, oh. Uh, annoyed is like a mosquito, you know, like when you're, when you're eating, uh, this. yes, when oh. some something oh. is, is, I'm molested, oh, stig. Stig. that's okay. annoying, yeah. that's annoying, oh, stig. when do you get annoyed? Okay, I think we lost Yanira. Jose Vasquez, when do you get annoyed? Um, I get annoyed when I have to, when it's a lot of uh, people, when it's crowded, and I have to do a, I don't know how to say it, it's like, una fila. Mm -hmm. I have to make a line. Oh, okay, I have to, when I have to make a, a line. And there is a, a, a lot of Marsh. people. Yes, me too. Um, I also get annoyed when I am in a place and they're playing reggaeton music very loud. You know, like the choca, 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 choca. It's like, <laughs> oh my God, really? There are people that like that? Teacher? Yes? Teacher, can oh, but... I say I am annoyed when the, clan, the weather is very hot? Okay. Um, Yes, but here, remember, annoyed, okay, yeah. I get annoyed when the weather is very hot. So you say, I get, because remember, get when you say, I get in an adjective, it's a, it's a change. So maybe you're normal right now, but if you go to a hot weather, it gets hotter and hotter, you start getting annoyed. Where okay. do you get a oh, good, good, but that was a very good example. So I get annoyed when the weather is very hot. Jordana, when do you get annoyed? Get annoyed when, when my, my son has his room, uh, 
messed up. Messed Disorganized. Up. Disorganized, yes. But you get annoyed or you get angry because there's a difference. <laughs> okay, I, I suppose that angry is even more than annoyed. Both of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because remember, annoyed is like when, you, <clears throat> when you're sleeping and there's a like... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, mosquito. Mm -hmm. And you know, you like, oh man, this is annoying, you know. Oh, you know, like sometimes when you're sick and then inside of your ear itches <laughs> and you, you wish you can stick a pencil and, and that's annoying. <laughs> Good. Okay. Let me see. Um, Jaime, when, when do you get annoyed? Or, or tell me something that is annoying to you. I'm getting, I get, I'm getting annoyed when they are discussed with, with a stupid, a stupid person. Stupid people, okay. Stupid people. That's annoying, yes, when you speak with stupid people. Hmm. All right, okay. Next David, is, yes. You know what, what is really annoying? Annoying. Annoying when, when you're trying to speak and uh, have, uh, there is a, a motorcycle making that loud sound. Mm -hmm. Man. And, and you're like uh, waiting uh -huh. for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, waiting. <laughs> yeah, that's annoying. And the motorcycle is like 300 meters and, sound, and the sound is, is strong, still strong. Yeah. You know what is annoying now? Watching YouTube with all the commercials. Mm -hmm. It's like you're watching mm -hmm. and then suddenly this stupid. Uh, reggaeton from India. <laughs> Commercial, yeah. Oh, Saha, 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 Rapa, Pum, Pum. You know. <laughs> yeah, that, that really gets annoying. All right, so we understand. So baffled, we understand what baffled is, right? Yes. Yeah. Baffled is like... Uh, ¿Cómo sería? Apuntado también. You're baffled. You're just concerned. Like, what? 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 But, but but the what is what is the the, the different the, the exact meaning of buffer uh, uh, with uh, against uh, mystified? It's it's like um, it's like Jose said. It's pretty much the same meaning. Mm -hmm. Remember when there are adjectives, there are many adjectives for one. Like example, imagine good, good, excellent, great, okay. So if you uh, say what yes. is the difference between those, I mean, they're pretty much the same. Confused. <laughs> when do you get confused? When you don't understand something? Yes, but give me a situation when you get confused. For example, I get confused when I am driving because I don't know the, the streets here in San Salvador. Okay, good. Good. I'll give an example. Um, one of my very, very good friends, he, he is gay. Um, I think people who are not gay, heterosexual, we think basic. Okay, a gay man is a man who likes a man. And a gay woman is a woman who likes a woman. Basic, right? But when you sit down and start talking to a homosexual about homosexuality, you get confused. Because, um, for example, my friend... He says I'm gay, but he, he doesn't like gay men. He likes heterosexual men. And I start saying, but I don't understand because if that person heterosexual becomes your boyfriend, he's not heterosexual, he's gay. And he says, no. And then, <laughs> and then like, you, you know, I start like, okay, I'm a confounding you, you know. And, <laughs> it's, and you know what he, do you know the perfect explanation he told me once? Mm -hmm. He says, okay, look at the transvestites in um, Salvador del Mundo. Everybody has seen them, right? They are men who dress like women. And their clients are men. He may say, isn't it easier for a man to just go get a woman? But why get a man dressed like a woman? And I said, hey, it's true, huh? So... Maybe uh, I, I guess he is a prostitute. 
No, no, he's not. No, no, no. <laughs> in, in fact, in fact, if you see him, you will never imagine. But he's openly gay. He's okay. like, no, but you know, it's very interesting. I love talking about topics like that because I like to learn new things. But I get confused when I talk to him. And that's why have you um for example, I have a friend in my in my work. She's very, very pretty. And her girlfriend is very ugly. And her girlfriend, um, it's not very ugly, but she looks like a man, like very manly, manly. And I and I one time I asked her, okay, if you're a lesbian, it's because you like women, because you think that women are beautiful. So why not get a beautiful woman? Why do you get a woman that looks like a man? And she says, because it, it, so, you know, and then I, I always, I never understand. So that's very confusing, but fascinating. It's very fascinating. So that confuses me. When I do, when I do my, when I make numbers confuses me. I have a problem and I forget right now what the, what that, what that is called. But when I start doing numbers in my head, I block myself like, well, block I block my, yeah, I, 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 I stay cold, like baffled. Like, let's say if we all go and eat pupusas, right? How much are the pupusas? 60 cents. And the soda, 75 cents. And the chocolate, 35 cents. Okay, cool. And this is when it's time to pay, and they tell me, Baya, my, here's $10. I have two pupusas, one soda. And I said, okay, wait, okay. So I said, so it's tanto. And then the other one tells me, and then here comes Gio. I had five pupusas, but one was cheese, and the other one was revuelta, and the other one was jalapeno. So, that, that you know, when, they, when I start making numbers like that, it comes to a point that... Yeah, I, I can't. I, I just hear you. I just see you move your mouth, but I can't understand what you're saying. So, uh, um, big <laughs> yeah, so I really, really hate you say, uh, Please give me, uh, tell me that what is the, the, the amount? Definitely. <laughs> In yeah. one time, please. Yeah. Oh, you know what is annoying? You know what is annoying? When you go with your family or your friends to eat pupusas and then, and then it's okay. So, what's up? How many pupusas do you want? And they start asking each other, you okay, 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 I don't know, you both, you both. It's like, hey, hey, come on, come on, let's go. It's basic. <laughs> There's only three options, you know, revueltas, queso, chicharro, you know, only three options. Y, y, la, y las revueltas son buenas, usted, like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's annoying. That's annoying. Mm -hmm. David, and... Yes. To all this, this, this you said are adjectives, right? They're adjectives. So, my understanding is that if you if you're going to use them with a person, you're going to use the ed and ed and in past participle. With, Very good. Yes. And with a object or it, uh, we are going to use the ing ending. Yes. Right. So, to all of them, I can use ing as well. So. You it's can say, like, nothing. let me give you an example. Um, who is an annoying person? Um, can you give me an example of an annoying person? Mm -hmm. Famous Please. or national, whatever. The Tenchis. The Tenchis, okay. The Tenchis. Bundio. <laughs> Bundio. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bundio. Bundio is annoying. <laughs> I am describing Bundio. He is annoying. So I am doing it with ING. That's a very good um, topic right there, Jordana. He is five annoying. Fighter song from, song from Mexico. He's a, he's a, he's he's a, yeah, he, no, he's, he's, more, he's more than annoying. More than annoying. But when you, when we use. <laughs> Yes, when you use uh, ED at the end, you have to use an expression like, I get annoyed when, you have to use the get. Okay. I, I always have to use the get? Yes, it is because remember one time we were doing adjectives and um, 
for example, when, when we use get in an adjective, it's a transaction from one stage to another. Remember, um, I'm going to get married. Why do people single, say I'm going to, to marry? Yes, the transaction would be from single yeah. to married. Married. Mm -hmm. So that's that's what get and an adjective means. It means a a, a change of stage. Maybe I can use I feel annoyed. I feel annoyed, yes. Or but I would recommend to say I get annoyed when. Uh -huh, I get annoyed. Uh -huh. I get annoyed when. Yes. Or can say Bundy really annoyed me. Mundio really annoyed me. Yes, but now we're using annoyed, annoying as a verb also. Okay. He annoyed me, yes. Uh, bayunco, bayunco. <laughs> uh, bayunco is, uh, that's, um, Thomas. Autóctono. Cuadra, that, por tío cuadra is annoying. Yeah, very, very. <laughs> He, uh, I don't like that man. He's all the politicians annoying. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, but but some of them are funny. Some of them are interesting. They, they, they including including your president. Yes, they're yeah, all annoying. The president no. really annoyed me. Okay, he really annoys me. You know who who really annoyed me, but at the end I liked him because he was uh -huh. so stupid. It, it was uh, Velasquez Parker because oh, you know, okay. it was unbelievable. I liked how he, uh, you know. Before he spoke, it's like he read a dictionary of, of very sophisticated words. And then, you know, like he read and then he, he, he was everything. He was a YouTuber. He was an influencer. He was a karate teacher. And when he speaks, he spoke very elegant. He was so funny, man. I was like, stupid funny. At the beginning, he was annoying, but then he was just... Oh my God, people like this actually do exist. <laughs> you know, it was annoying. Mm -hmm. But, but Belaste Parky. Politics that, are annoying. Belaste Parky is not annoying. It's silly. That, that is. That is no, yeah, that's what I'm saying. At the beginning, I really, you know, he really annoyed me, annoyed me, but he annoyed me so much that I actually liked him. Has that ever happened to you? You know, like you hate something so much that you start liking it, like maybe with some music. Like, for example, Tigres del Norte, I used to hate that music so much. And then anymore? No, I actually, I learned to like it. I really like Tigres oh, really? del Norte. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're cool. I don't like that x -Mix music, <laughs> but I do like that band. They're very good. Because... um. I had a friend that we had to take turns. We would drive to San Miguel, and I don't know why he loved Tigres del Norte. So one way was his music, and the other way was mine. mine. And I said, really, man, you like Tigres del Norte? That That's so annoying to me, that music. But on the model, for two hours every day, I had to listen to it until until I realized that it's good. <laughs> every <laughs> every song is like a little book. It's a history and like. Hey, de verdad, ¿qué le pasó al niño? Y la mamá se murió. Oh. You, know, you start listening to the music. You know, like, oh, man, that's... It's sad. You want to cry sometimes. There, have, no, there's one también, una, tres veces mojado. Have you heard that song? No. I recommend you listen to that song. It's about El Salvador. Uh, it's, it's a very cool song because he says he is three times illegal. And he, and he's the story of the song is that one time they were eating in a restaurant in Los Angeles. And the waiter, the waiter, he was Salvadoran. And the waiter told him, hey, I love your music because you sing about illegal people. Imagine me, yo soy mojado tres veces because I crossed Guatemala, Mexico, and United States. And, and they said, wow, it's true because we only write about Mexican people and we forget that Central America too has to go through that. And they wrote that song about, about him. It's a very cool song because it says that he got arrested in Mexico. 
And he says, I don't know, como es que dice, tres fronteras, tuve que cruzar. Y en México, ¿cómo es posible que me hayan indocumentado si el mismo idioma y, y piel reflejé? I don't know, but it's very good when you hear it. And he mentions El Salvador. So I started liking, I hope that really never happens to me with Bad Bunny because that I will not tolerate. <laughs> Yeah, if I have At a friend least. that has to do that, no man, either or me voy en bus or me voy en mi propio carro. <laughs> <laughs> That's not negotiable. Mm -hmm. All right, so next we have um, the demoralized. Yes, what is something demoralizing? For example, let's select a game with Qatar. It was a very good game, but but you know the power. I mean, that was not really. Know, that was, know, the, the that was not a penalty. I don't know. The I, el, el director, el, el, el train, the training was a, a stupid person, huh? No, I mean, in my opinion, the game was good. I'm saying no. about about like for example, that was not a penalty. In my opinion, that was not a penalty. But you stop and think: Is Qatar? They are the host of the World Cup. They have to, they have to, you know, open doors. Hey, look at us, look at us. And you know, El Salvador no le puede ganar a Qatar. I, I, I bet you, I bet you $500 Qatar is going to win the World Cup, the, the, the Gold Cup. That's valid. But, but maybe, maybe yeah. it, it's normal to think that if you are playing with Qatar, you are not invent to change the 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 you are you you can you you came in working uh, with uh, the uh, one strategy and then you change the strategy when they are and we are we are playing with with Qatar and then at the the captain of the team is is in the bank what happened uh, is, I, I, It's okay, no, maybe yeah, maybe too, you're seeing okay, yeah, but you're seeing it. You're seeing the technical part. What I see is like, it's like the logistic. The technical, hmm. Why why wasn't was the stupid? Qatar no, Mexico the first game, or casualidad the referee was Mexican? Yes, no, no, but, but, but uh, yes. Yeah, in conclusion, <laughs> I'm not. Yes, no, you're right, Laura. No, no, but uh, just let me finish. In conclusion, for me, that was. It's moralizing, you know, when you get happy watching the select and man, oh, siempre el Salvador del Pato because the referee was Mexican. They played with the favorite team. I'm not talking about the technical part, you know, and you say, man, siempre el Pato feo, you know. So we, that's this moralizing. I'm annoying. So, listen, talking about football. Yeah, no, okay. I'm sorry. That was not my intention to talk about it, wh wh why they lost or not. My, my example was like, I was happy that Selecta was playing good, but they ended up losing. Maybe there was a little cheating, Grandpa, maybe, but it was everything against El Salvador, right? And then, you know, going back to desmoralizing, it's like, siempre Salvador, man, because, you know, we have to pay. So that was an example for desmoralizing, you know, watching the Selecta because they were, you know, and the Mexican referees, que no vieron esto, you know. So that's the moralizing too. Like example, I imagine when you are a professional, imagine I see some doctors, some doctors are applying for a Usada's job or something and, and then they're paying $500 for a doctor. That's really desmoralizing for a doctor, I imagine. I mean, if you study 10 years, you sweat. Mm -hmm blood and really five hundred dollars is what you're worth that's i in my opinion that's desmoralizing no yeah. can you think of anything else that is desmoralizing yes something else that you, you comes to mind desmoralizing politics are desmoralizing without getting deep into the topic but every part politics in the world Oh, at least in Latin America, is desmoralizing. Because you always say, oh, man, it's the Lomimo with a different, with a different, yes. Como es que dicen, hay un dicho en inglés de, 
same poop, different toilet. <laughs> You understand that the expression, pero la palabra es mala, you know? The yeah. same poop, different just day. a different toilet. Yeah. Solo excusado different. <laughs> okay, can you think of something that is desmoralizing, Carlos? Sorry? Can you think of something that is desmoralizing? Um, maybe... Uh, is, it more, is it moralizing to have a job and, and do not gain the, the correct amount of money? Of course, yes. Or when, when you get paid and you see everything they discount? That's right. That's and and you see thing. and you see in the street and you don't see your taxes, that's yeah, really especially demoralizing. Especially nowadays, because for example, San Salvador, uh, it was never uh, a model of city, but at least we, we used to have a couple of good streets, but right now it's awful. I mean- Oh my God, really, every yes. Every street, every, every single um, way, every single road is, is, is bad, is really okay. terrible. Yeah, that's very demoralizing. good. The press, what is the press? When do you get depressed? I get depressed when I see my son sick. Mm, I get depressed when I have to pay bills. Oh, yes. <laughs> True. <laughs> we all. Good example. I agree. Yeah, that's a perfect example when you have to, when you receive the bills, like, oh, God, man. Mm, yeah. You know, I was so angry with Simon because I paid the, the complete part, right? Mm -hmm. So okay, I want to pay it. I'm not going to renew it. No, but okay, okay, whatever. So, okay, I paid everything and then I cut it. And I said, no, no más. Okay. And I might start using it again, right? So now, and then I get a bill for $6. From Simon and I call him. I say, why the hell? I paid everything. Can you please check? I have, sí, pero... One penny. And because I didn't pay that penny in one month, they charge me six dollars every month until I pay. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it was so funny. One cent, really. When I went, I said, I want to pay everything now, stay at zero. And you said, okay, here, here. Why? Inteligentes, they didn't tell me, you know, they told me until I until it expired. Imagine I had to pay six dollars for one cent. Mm. I'm angry. Yeah, that's that's really depressing, not annoying, insulting, Irritating. everything. Insulting. Yes. Yeah. How do you say infuriat? How do you pronounce that one? Infuriated. Infuriated. Okay. Yes. Infuriated. I, I will be honest with you. Let me be mm -hmm. honest with you. Dismoralized, infuriated. We don't really use you. You you you. Do you know it's the first time you hear that today? Yeah, we don't say in Spanish. Me enfurece. We can uh -huh. just hear. Or me desmoraliza. Me desmoraliza. No. <laughs> we don't. Yeah, in English too, we don't really say those. So we have this. Um, the press. What is discouraged? Desanimado. Desanimado, yes. And which is similar to desmoralize. Hey, I want to know if it's desmoralize or demoralize. 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 Yes. <laughs> then we have discouraged. Now we have enraged. Otra que no usamos, really. Enfurecido. Enraged and infuriated, you don't really use. Frustrated. What is frustrated? Mm. Is it when you want to do uh, correct, but you, you don't you don't do correct? Is uh, insist in, in, in the res result is a, is a wrong uh, always. The platform. 
The platform is frustrating. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> yes. Actually, I'm blocked. I can yeah. use it. Yeah, I'm blocked. Yeah. This is frustrating because I put every possible answer and still saying no. Hasta que le puede digan, oh, I buddy, disculpar. Actually, the platform is wrong right now. It's like, really, man? You, you can't tell me? <laughs> yeah, platform is like uh, next time, please tell me. <laughs> yeah, that's you frustrating. Need, you need to think like the platform. Yeah. Yes, think like the platform. <laughs> okay, next, humiliated. Have you ever been humiliated? I think yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think everybody in our life, we have been humiliated once or twice. Yes. Okay. Um, so, infuriated, we don't use. Insulted. Do you feel insulted when you see what all this extra extra salary the politicians were making? Of course. Of course. It's like, wow, that's really insulting. But it's even more insulting to hear the excuses. You know, like Avila saying, yes, I needed the money for the security of my family. Like, oh, please. <laughs> yeah, that's insulting. What else is insulting? Uh, for me, maybe go to the to this market. Uh, how do you say artesanía? Handcraft. 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 Yeah, thank you. When you go to the to uh, any handcraft market and see a bunch of T-shirts with the picture of our Supreme Lord, for me that's <laughs> insulting. <laughs> oh, the Supreme Lord of God? Uh, no, your president. Your oh, president. the president. <laughs> Him. When yeah, you saw the man. flag with yeah. with the with his face, yeah, that's that's. Oh. I was watching the soccer game of El Salvador yeah. Qatar, and oh, there were more there were more shirts of his face than flags. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but uh, that's called that's that's <laughs> bueno asesores, man. That's having what's the effect, the butterfly effect, or <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's mm -hmm. insulting. Um, you know, today I had I had a case that it was very bad. I mean, I was I went to help to a different account in the call center where I worked, and then they told me, "Can you please cover for one person?" So this person was booking hotels. In esa cuenta, I worked before. That's why Rosalena it was interesting when you told me that you worked in hotels. And this person told me, I want to book a hotel in the Tropicana in Texas. Okay. Y me dijo, that person told me, I want to know one thing. Yes, how can I help you? Does that hotel give jobs to illegal immigrants, Latinos? And inside, I was very insulted and very angry, but I couldn't say anything. Mm -hmm. And I said, um, if you would like, please hold on. Let me call the hotel and I can ask that. Yes, please. Because if they give jobs to illegal Latinos, I don't want to be there. Jeez. So I, I called the hotel. Hi, my name is David. I want to know if you, um, if you by any chance give jobs to illegal Latinos. The reaction of the person in the hotel was, What? Yes, the one said, yes, of course you're, not. You were it, it talking was, one, one of them. <laughs> yes, she was offended. And, and she had every right to be offended. I was offended, but the problem is I couldn't do anything because it's my job. I imagine it's like when a doctor has to operate a marero that he has to save his life. It's his job. So it was very bad. I was insulted, you know. And the, and the lady at the hotel, she told me, what? But her reaction was like shocking. I imagine she's talking about me. It may be with her family. This stupid man called me and he, <laughs> you know. So I went back to the client and I said, um, hi, ma'am. Thank you for waiting. And um, no, um, the so hotel not. does not give jobs to illegal immigrants. Okay, thank you. Bye. <gasps> Ah, that's so irritating. Yeah, that was. I was annoyed, but I was. Yeah. I was everything. I was insulted and everything. Okay. Yeah, 
I felt bad because, you know. That's so annoying. Yeah. Call yeah, center work, it's so stressful. Yes. Okay, next we have irritated. Irritated also is more like um, sickness. Like, I feel irritated when you're sick. Yeah. Okay. Next we have mystified. We understand that one. And next we have a uh, saddened. What is the difference suddenly with sudden, suddenly with the buffer? Okay, sadden, buffer, baffled, baffled really has no reaction. Baffled is this like. Boca, boca abierta. Mm -hmm. Sadden is this. Like when your dog dies. Mm -hmm. That's not baffled, that's sadden. What saddens you? What really saddens, like for example, when I see little kids selling in the street, really saddens me. And frustrates me too. Mm -hmm. What saddens you, Gary? Well, I love dogs. So when I see a dog in the street, uh, without any care, pretty sad for me. A duck or a dog? Dog. Oh, I'm With okay. Me. Good. Dog. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I heard duck. <laughs> Yeah, duck, duck. yeah, I was going to ask you, where do you see ducks in the street? Okay. <laughs> I never seen a duck. No, dog. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Um, I feel bad too when I see a dog and, you know, sometimes you give them food to help them. And when you open the door, they're, they're in front of your door like, hey. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah, that saddens me. Okay, that's a good example. So, when I see dogs in the street, saddens me. Okay, good. What what saddens you, Ricardo? I, I don't think I never I can't imagine Ricardo sad. <laughs> You're always happy. Yes, I always, always. <laughs> you know what saddens you when your company has to close? Yes. When, when you need to take vacation. When you take vacation saddens you because you you, you don't work. Yeah, the, no, it's, it's uh, when when I I plan the vacation and the and the I have to work in the on, on the vacation time. Oh, I don't believe you, but okay. I get I get sad Sunday. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, good. You know, and um, yeah, you, you know when you tell you you, you know that expression in in Spanish. Oh, que triste eso, man. Que, que bajo has caído. Que eso es triste. You can actually say that in English, man. You sadden me. You know, but you, you know, like, if you have a friend that, um, who maybe is a big alcoholic and you try to help, and but your friend doesn't want to be helped, then you say, you say, you know what? I'm not worried about you anymore. You just saddened me, man, because you don't want to live. You know, I have that with a friend, you know, he has a beautiful wife, a beautiful family, three kids, and he's like 45 and he still parties. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, right, that's, that's his life, that's his business, but it saddens me. When, when I talk to him, I say, you know what? Um, you saddened me. <laughs> And I tell his wife too, you sadden me too because you should leave him. Mm -hmm. He right. disappears. He still, I don't know how he does it. He goes to discotheques. He knows all the bars, all the cool discotheques, like he's 20. And, and I tell him, that's sad. <laughs> because I can't do that. You know, party, party four or five days a week and. Okay, and the last one is, yes. Infuriated. The last Stunted. one is stunned. Stunned could be two things. It can be something positive or negative. Did you watch Pretty Woman? Yes. I love that movie, but by the way, but you, everyone's watched Pretty Woman, remember? Remember when they went to the opera date and she went in the red dress? And when she was walking in the hotel, everybody was 
because she looked stunning. Mm. So in this case, it was a positive because stunningly beautiful. Everybody was stunned because mm -hmm. she looked beautiful. It's like when women look at me, they get stunned. Like, oh my God, what a beautiful <laughs> man. <laughs> hey, it's my example. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then here comes a negative stun. Like when you have a very ugly friend, he said, presenta un chero. Hey, have a friend, man. You want, you want me to represent her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How is she? Oh, she, she cooks a really very, good. Very good person. <laughs> she's a very good person. Uh -huh. Yeah. And she's really ugly. And when, when, you know, and that's a different stunt. Like, what? And then they call you, Mira, you was tu madre. Hey, I didn't obligate you. Yeah. Not only gay, I didn't lie. So I'm, I'm joking, but that's what I'm saying. So sometimes it's stunningly, or sometimes when you see a, um, when you see a, I don't know if in, in, in your job it happens, like uh, those Madre Luchonas, you know, like they have like three different kids from three different fathers and they're always complaining about how life is and why men are so bad and they're always partying and partying. You you get like stunned, like, oh my God, really? Are you serious? <laughs> are you serious? I mean, you have three kids with three different men, the same story with the whole three different men. She you still, far, maybe. <laughs> you're still partying, you're still looking for boyfriends. And what can you complain about life? So that's actually stunning. So you, you know what I'm saying? There's two types of stunning. Oh, like like um, there's a positive one and a negative one. So when you're stunned, it's when there's a little silence. And I think that was okay. Digo pretty woman because I watched that movie again like two days ago. And I remember that part. Remember that I think he gives her a, a necklace. Hey, cuando él la ve, se queda, wow. Bueno, incluso, remember when they go to the lobby? And he looks for her, he doesn't recognize her, and she looks very beautiful. Mm -hmm. And he tells her in that moment, you look stunning. <laughs> yes. So stunning is something impactante, vaya. Impactado. I'm stunned. Incluso impactado could be in Espanol, it could be good or bad. Correct? Okay. Um, pero, eh, pero maybe es aturdido también. Es impactado. I'm stunned. I don't know what is aturdido. Stunned? De... ¿Y nada aturdido? Aturdido in Spanish, it could be positive and negative? Probably, yeah. Can you say, sos tan bella me has dejado aturdido? Can you say that? I don't know, really, because I don't know. I, I, I really, yeah, because, um, I, no, really, I don't know, because I've heard aturdido, but to be honest with you, I'd never used that. I'd never used that. But, but in, in Spanish, in Spanish, Spanish existing the word aturdido. Yes, it does. But where I don't know if it's the same as stunning, because stunning is stunning. that. Like, like you can tell a woman, stunning. you're stunningly beautiful. You're so beautiful, I am stunned. Mm -hmm. Yes. Or you're so ugly, I was stunned. <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, like what I'm saying, it can be a, for a, a, it's an impact, either negative or positive. And not only physically, I mean anything, you know. Dice la gente cuando va a Haití, ver la pobreza extrema is stunning. Mm. Or people that go to Dubai and see the riches, you know, wow, man, stunning. When people say they go to New York and Times Square and they see all the buildings and the lights, that is stunning. O sea, es un momento de silencio that you're, wow. All right? So we'll do a little bit more of exercise with this tomorrow, okay?
Okay. okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Okay. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.